Now, for decades, the Kenyan band Salty Soul have blessed fans with beautiful music, beautiful, authentic music as a group. Now, the band have decided to go their separate ways with one member of the band, Bien, choosing to move on with his career as a solo artist. Now, as much as he understands that this is a very, very tasking journey, he's also hopeful and blessed at the fact that he gets to still experience a similar fan base that he had while he was with Salty Soul. Now, as a Kenyan man married to an Igbo woman, he came to Nigeria one of his many visits to the country and in discussing memories from the band and his future projects, we sat down for an epic moment tasting authentic Nigerian meals. And we have that for you to enjoy. Take a look. <laughs> Here? Oh, this. Okay. You won't believe we're wearing the same color. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, man. We're wearing the same color. What? We are wearing the same, and we didn't Today's plan this. This episode of Beyond Chance. <laughs> Hi, Bian. I'm good. I'm so happy to thank feed you, you because you. in Nigeria, that's what we love to do. Uh, yeah, that's we what love I came to, to do as well, man. We love to feed people. I came hungry. Today I didn't have breakfast. So I was just like, you know what? I have a big lunch coming. Oh, you do? You yeah. have a lot of meal. <laughs> And I want to know what you think about every single one of them because I okay. intentionally curated the menu mm -hmm. in such a way that each meal is from a part of Nigeria. Okay. You know? Yeah. And since you're married to an evil woman, okay. I'm sure she will be so proud of her evil sister. She will. She will. Because she'll she be will. like, that girl knows her onions. Uh. <laughs> so come, 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 come. Meanwhile, this is the Wheat Baker Hotel. It's one of the nicest hotels here in Nigeria. Fantastic, I really like man. it. I love it. Yeah, I love the vibe. It yeah, gives yeah. me a very Nairobi vibe. It, they love art, you yes. know. They have a very artsy vibe. That's yeah. one of the reasons I love the Wheat Baker, so. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. This is another name. Roof. Are you going to start singing? Oh, you will sing today. I must. This is Kingsley. He will be Sup helping King? us get our yeah. food together. I'm to you too, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet you, bro. <laughs> All right, come on in. Hello. <laughs> hello come hello. sit. Sit, 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 sit. So, how are you, Vian? Fantastic. Oh, I'm so, so excited well. we have to do You're doing this. So, well. so hey. again, for the hundredth time, yes. welcome to Nigeria. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. So, I just felt like, you know, you've been to Nigeria a lot mm -hmm. and you are married to a Nigerian. I am. And it doesn't get more Nigerian than that. However, in Nigeria, we have a culture which is how I grew up. I grew up with um, having guests come over and we just stuff them with food. <laughs> Oh, man. You know, we just say, you know what, come yeah. to the house, it's yeah. Sunday afternoon, let's eat rice Ish. and chicken. Ish. That is the Nigerian, but is it similar though yeah. for Kenyans? How I mean, do you food, entertain? Food is definitely a love language for Africans I in general. I think so. Uh, every time, a friend of mine, one day we ordered food on like a food app. Uh-huh. Yeah. And when the food delivery guy got home, the moment I got the food, I started dancing. <laughs> and my friend was, my, one of my best friends was like, why is it that every time Africans see food, they dance? I know. Like, we just... <laughs> You know, like, and it's not as if we have not eaten before. It's not, it's not. It's just our relationship with food is spiritual. So. I know, yeah. it is spiritual. I agree with you. I completely agree with you. Now, I feel like I've, I've, not even I feel, I've never been to Kenya before. Okay. I haven't. I've been thinking about going. Yeah. I've been to Ghana severally, but I just yeah. always wonder, like, mm, I don't know anyone in Nairobi. Because now I know well, now you. you do. I do, yeah. so I'm 100% more excited to yes. come over. But talk to me about what Kenya is like. Like what Kenya is like? Yeah, like I could tell you what Nigeria is like. I think Kenya is a mix of Nigeria, South Africa, the, of the north, east, uh, northwest and the south. Okay. That, like we have a representation that's very eclectic. Mm -hmm. uh, we are not very loud, mm -hmm. but we are very firm and very bold in different ways. Oh. And our food is great, but not too much pepper. <laughs> not too Nigerians much pepper. Hey, oh. I think to eat Nigerian food, you have to be topless. <laughs> Because, because, yo. Well, it's not that crazy. The levels. No, but I have to be the honest with you. Be high. I'm from the eastern part of Nigeria, okay. and we're, we're we're minimal. We believe yeah. more in the um, in in the richness of the food yeah. as opposed to how peppery the food is. So I think the minimalist east here is the maximum in Kenya. In Kenya. Yeah, that's like no way. Oh my God. So there is absolutely no pepper in your meals. Well, uh, some some communities do have pepper. So people don't okay, have do suya. Have. We have suya. We okay. eat it with something called kachumbari, and oh. the kachumbari has pepper in it. 
is a, yeah, yeah. I like the word kachumbari. 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 Yeah, it's like a tomato onion salsa with... Why can't I just call it tomato onion salsa? Because it's that? called kachumbari. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Let's have our first meal. I'm going to have them prepare meal number mm, one okay. if it's available. That would be the jello fries and the plantain. Ah, jello fries is in the jello building. Jello is in the building. Okay. So this is the... Um, bitalif. Bitalif soup. Okay. This is the... Uh, Edi Kai Kong. This is the afang. Afang. Afang soup. This is the... Banga? Banga soup, yes. okay. And that's the jello fries and chicken yes. stew. Yes. Ah, Akara. Yes. The Ewa Green and Sauce. Ewa Green and Ewa Green Sauce. Pando. Pando. Yeah. Okay. This is the Ewa Green Akara. Somewhere. Okay. It's like scotch egg, maybe beans. <laughs> <laughs> These are your bread rolls. Well. Thank you very much. Very important. Okay, this is Yamarita. Oh, this is a fr fried plantain? Fried plantain, yes. Oh, right. look, it's here. Yeah, jello fries. Okay, right, jello chicken, chicken. fries. Okay. Okay, okay I, I just hope it's not pepper because I, I said no pepper. So we don't have to Mild eat spicy? everything. Mildly spicy, spicy. Kingsley. Thank you very much. Mildly spiced, yes. Let's, we Can just, you just, water? yes, yes. We just need to have one spoon because yeah. we are going to try a bunch of meals. Okay. But I just want you to try it out and let me know what you think. Well, bon appetit. I mean, you already just went right in. Mm. Mm. I, I, it's just gone mm. in. You love plantain, don't you? Plantain? It's like... My manners. No, it's okay. It's okay. Talk to me about your love for plantain. There's a corner in heaven with Wi-Fi <laughs> for the guy who invented plantain. <laughs> No, but really though, do you know that there are some parts of the world where they really do not understand the concept of fried plantain? I didn't until I met my wife, actually. You know, we don't eat plantain in Kenya. I'm telling you, we eat bananas. I'm sorry. Like, we eat like raw bananas, we, mm -hmm. we mash them up like uh, in something called matoke. Machoke. Matoke. Do they fry it? No, they don't fry it, but you could fry it. But we don't fry it. Like, these are not... Do you know plantains? I feel like plantains is God's way of just saying, I love you to us. <laughs> It's just... I agree. You can eat it alone. So what do you think mm. of the jollof? Is it spicy? Jollof is banging. Mm-hmm. So it's, shall we it's, agree? It's Kenyan spicy. Another Nigerian jollof It's kind of spicy. It's all right. Can we kind of agree that Nigerian jollof is just the life? This is the best jollof I've had ever. No. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. I had them make it. Like, I'm like, listen, this man is from Kenya. Have it washed. <laughs> you need to make sure he's impressed. <laughs> talked about how for Saudi soul you had to go through like a therapy yeah we had to I don't know how you could separate because it <sighs> for oh soul God. for me was spiritual I rem I dance I told you I dance mm. and believe it or not shaking your bamba and they like skiller shaking your bamba <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the biggest salsa songs here in Nigeria Whoa. I'm not joking you need to see women spinning <laughs> Doing the salsa spins. Doing the salsa spins. You know, um, even like, I'll be honest, Saudi Soul still is spiritual. How to, so? To our fans, I think the, the fans, that music means a lot to people. Mm -hmm. It took us to be in this moment to mm -hmm. also realize the gravity of what we were doing. Um, but sometimes I think as a human being, you need these moments so that the next season can be glorious as well. I know. Yeah, yeah. I and know. also, we'll come back wiser we have a better message to give because we never ever did music for anything except the fact that we just felt we we're talented and chosen to do it but you guys were let's yeah. have the second meal while we're having this conversation because right. my fear now is we're not going to get another one we will uh, another what another salty soul ah uh, yeah because this salty soul is still around oh, we're coming back coming back how like you don't believe in the second coming of christ of the christian <laughs> <laughs> you know? I do. I truly do. <laughs> no, no, but I think uh, we're definitely... You left on such a high. Yeah, and that's how you leave. And that's the problem. If you guys left when it was like, well... Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. No, man. You have to retire when you're on top. What if I never see you again? Will I be able to live with all the nasty things I said? What if I never see you again?
there's something about us Africans that are like, ah, it's, it's when they're clapping for us, we want to stay there, you know? And one thing that I feel South is so hard, yes, please, they never believed that they were too big to fail. Mm. So there was always that intentionality in the music. I keep saying Midnight Train from the steady rock in the midnight train. What is Midnight to Zion? Was that it? Yeah. The Midnight Train is an ode to all the people who wake up and grind. It's yeah. the late nights, it's the early flights. Mm -hmm. It's just going to get yours mm -hmm. in this world. Mm -hmm. And the Midnight Train is just a tribute to all the hard work that all the people who work, who work hard. Mm -hmm. You know, all work works at the end of the day. Everyone, yeah. everyone works and all work works. Mm -hmm. So leaving on that album, there were so many different songs. I told you about She's so insecure. She don't make love with the light on. So yeah, that's a jam. That's a jam. Ah, you're taking me back, man. I could cry. You're taking me back. Insecure? She's a musical. Yeah. A musical. That song. Wow, man. I remember where I was when I wrote those songs. Either. Where were you? Please. Insecure. Insecure in particular, I was in Burundi. Is it? Yeah. I was in Burundi. What inspired it? I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, sometimes the vessel is broken, man, you know? It's just come to me like, songs come to me in dreams. Songs come to me when I speak to people, I experience human beings, and music just flows to me like that. So I don't have a particular process that I follow, mm -hmm. or a particular time when now I'm going to write music. Anytime I sit down to intentionally write music, I don't feel like it flows. You know, that I think that yeah, happens. That's to get me where it gets me, you know? <laughs> Do you know what this is? Okay. Let me tell you what this is. But what you is? have to be careful. <laughs> Say what is? Mm -hmm. What is? <laughs> you have to be very careful. This is with bread. This. I know this is bread. This is our agege bread. I agege you, bread. Agege bread. Okay. When I was younger in Lagos, I lived mm. in Anthony Village, and every morning there was this woman with agege bread on her head, mm. and she would say, "If I were local bread," she would be shouting. Oh. People would come and buy this for thirty naira, fifty naira at okay. the time. But it's How much work. is it now? Man, this bread can be like maybe one, one five. Whoa, Because the man, inflation yeah. is crazy. Inflation is mad. Now this is ewa going. Ewa going is a beans recipe. Well, this is beans. This is beans. I'll so they it. mash the beans. Ooh. This are going. We have something sauce. similar. We have something similar in Kenya. The beans. Yeah. Yes. So it's really soft beans, yeah. unlike the regular beans. Mm -hmm. But then the are going sauce is quite spicy. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure you take there because I don't even eat a oh, lot. Oh, this of sauce it. is spicy. This sauce is spicy. It's quite. called. Quite, I'm gonna say. It's called Ewa Agoin. One of my favorite meals. Uh -huh. I call it comfort food because I cannot eat it right every day. So like do you, do you eat the do you put this? So let me show you how, how I do, you... do it. Let me hold on. Let me yeah. let me show you the okay. I'm looking for the big are you the only one looking are you also looking for the big fork? No, I'm just like taking my stuff out because you're doing it. <laughs> Okay, so this is what I do. I first of all mix a little bit of the sauce in my beans. Okay. Just a little. I'll show you two ways to eat it. So because you don't like the spice, I advise you mix very little beans in sauce. And then you can too add. Late. Too, late. <laughs> too late. Too late. Too late. Okay, now you take your bread. Mm -hmm. This is how we do it in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. You tie it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you press the bread. It has to mold well. Oh. You press your bread. And then you use My your gay gay bread, me, I start to slice. <laughs> <laughs> and then you try it. So you try it. What do you think? Mm. It's so bomb. These beans are bomb. Oh my God. Yeah? But it's, it's spicy. It's I can't spicy eat so much of it. Yeah. I can't eat so much of it. I just die, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's mm. not fine. We need another album after Lusa. Why are you mm. shirtless? We need another album. <laughs> You know the next question I'm going to ask you? Yeah. How did you meet your wife? Uh, outside the concert. Not my concert. Uh, most Def. You know Most Def, the rapper? No. You know Most Def? Um, Maybe I do. Talk to me. Is, you know Talib Kweli? No! Okay, my God. <laughs> most Def is uh, an American rapper. Mm -hmm. uh, most now Def. Called, yeah, his name is now Yasin Bey. Hmm. Uh, he, Probably have heard his I music. Know I can't afford to drive 
But I know. And so anyway, okay. I, I grew up listening to Most Def. Uh huh. And I'd gone to watch Most Def. Mm -hmm. And then I was in the parking lot and I saw my wife standing there. Wait, Most Def came to Kenya? Yeah, he was performing. In okay. Kenya. So I was in the parking lot. And then uh, I saw my wife standing there with a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, man, my friend is really uh, eating that good good. <laughs> you, you got the keys to my heart. My baby never lets me down. My baby never lets me down. My baby never. You... Are you ready for this? Yeah, so the this inside. is Poundo. Poundo. Yeah, Poundo and Eddie Kai Kong soup. Mm. What mm. does that taste like? Fishy. Do you see the veggies? I love it. <laughs> yeah. This is a very... Now, you see how you're eating it? Yeah. With the meat and the soup? Yeah. That's how you eat it. You see? So the idea is for every spoon you put in your mouth like this, there will be a little meat. meat or fish some? that you grab. What around. fish is this? Different type. There's stock fish, most likely, mm. in here. Mm. You have some crayfish, most likely. Mm -hmm. Because this is made primarily with um, goat's meat. Mm. So you would only find stock fish... So wait, there's goat you know, meat and stockfish. Let me tell you how it works here. Mm -hmm. Stockfish is not the main protein. Stockfish is an appurtenant of the food. Is that appurtenant? What's the appurtenant? Is like it's part of the food. So when we eat, in, like you will never find someone tell you stockfish. I'm making you stockfish for dinner. No, 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 no. Stockfish is just the way you have sausage and bacon, and you put that in your. It's a quick snack. It is a quick snack. Just add it. Just double it in there. Put some stockfish. Put some crayfish. And then you can now start cooking. You can put in that goat's meat. You can put catfish. You can put cow meat. Okay. You know, whatever it is you want to put inside yeah. there. You want to use the, you know, assorted. We have something called assorted, mm. where it's just dip. We meat. eat a lot of meat in Nigeria. I'm not even going to lie to you. We eat a ton of meat. But I'll tell you mm. this, though. You like that? I love it. The fish is amazing. Oh, mm. oh. Listen, if you like this, you're going to like the next. Hey, 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 hey. Now, Bien, you've come into your, this is, I, I call this the Bien era. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is the Bien era. era. And what is the, what, what are you most excited for in this space that you've come into where it's, it's your voice? You yeah. know, with the group, we hear a bit of everybody. Yes, yeah. So sometimes you don't even, <clears throat> you have to check out the lyrics to, to know, know who, who, who said what and who sang what part. But now I listen to your music, like I listened to your album and I was mm. telling that I heard Stay, yeah. I was calling it Start, but yeah, it's Stay. stay yeah. And Time. Banga? Banga, banga. We didn't know start to. You really? I need to see you at a Nigerian party. <laughs> but you see, now I have to. Now I have to use my hands now. I'm see. sorry, guys. Guys, I know it's black. Yeah, but we can't keep washing, can't keep our, washing hands. our hands. All the it's time. stressful. But we did that for the culture. Yeah, we did, we did that. that for the culture. So tell me what you think about it. Can I tell you? So you're asking truth? a question. Sorry. Until yes, I... you are, but taste that first. No, thank you. Just use my fork now. Can I be honest with you? I don't like that now. This thing is slapping. <laughs> what is wrong with you, man? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Banga and starch is a Nigerian delicacy. Two Nigerian delicacies that I don't even touch. Wait, is this, this is meat? Again, yeah, it meets people. Banga and amala. Amala Those, is... Amala and amala is, um, Interesting. Yes, yes. yes. Mm. No, no, no. Amala is like a swallow. Mm. You understand? Amala is the swallow, then a wedu. This is the most Kenyan thing in the world. Really? Mm. Banga? Mm. How so? This is us. It's not too spicy. Okay, this banga is not too spicy. Mm -hmm. It's meat with tomatoes, onions, cooked up in a sauce. I just, to be honest, I think because I'm Igbo, which is weird because parts of Delta are you know, mix up with the evil yeah. culture. I just don't get it. The taste just, maybe it's, the, it's definitely the palm. The palm then, oil, this is palm oil, right? Yeah, this has palm oil. It's made with palm nuts, actually. That's how the soup is made. Ooh, palm nuts. Yes. Never had that. Yep. Oh, we have this thing. In fact, in its raw form. The only palm thing I like is the wine. <laughs> hey. <laughs> palm wine. Palm wine is good. Ah, palm wine yeah. is really good. No, with this, you, in fact, the actual nuts, you can just take it up as a snack. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. You can take it, you can 100% take it up as a I'm snack. I'm definitely digging this banga more than the soup before this. You are? I'm telling you. 
I am stunned. I should have washed my hands for this. <laughs> <laughs> really? In our, so in Kenyan culture, yeah. Mm -hmm. If someone comes and they're offering you food, so we have this. You can, we have a version of food that is just vegetables, mm -hmm. like ugali, which is, which is exactly what pounderia means, mm -hmm. and vegetables. If mm -hmm. there's no meat, and the, someone is washing your hand, you just wash one hand. Uh -huh. If there's meat, you wash two hands. <laughs> oh, what does that signify? Uh, it's just... It, it's just culture. It's just, and also just banter, to okay. be honest. Okay, yeah. so I was asking you about your Inyobian era right now, yes. like away from the band. Now we know it's your voice, I've yeah. listened to your album, and yeah. it's just you singing your heart out. Yeah. Talk to me about this new phase, like... Yeah. Um, what are you most excited about when yeah. you think about the fact that it's just Bien and his music? I don't know. I love a new challenge in life. Mm -hmm. As I said yesterday, like our parents stayed in the same job for 30 years. Mm -hmm. I can't be that guy. Hmm. <clears throat> I always wondered how my life would be if I took this, like, this path. Mm -hmm. And I'm so curious and excited on becoming. Mm -hmm. And I definitely know that on the other side of it all, is a better version of me for everybody and for the world. Hmm. And <clears throat> sorry. sorry, I love having creative control over everything I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I'm learning what that looks like. I'm learning about being in control of all the variables mm -hmm. to come up with one product that represents you. a positive force in me, you know. So those are the things that I, I'm really... Do you, do you, does it feel like difficult sometimes? It does. It does feel difficult. Uh, just mostly because I don't have a sounding board of three other guys. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't have... A, and sometimes, you know, also when you're making all the decisions, mm -hmm. when you fail, you fail. You do. Yeah, when, when you win... You win. You win. It's all you winning. So also balancing that, balancing disappointments, and my next, you know, my mood mm -hmm. on a day when I'm feeling low and mm -hmm. having to do life, it's been difficult sometimes. But I t uh, to be honest... Nothing I can't take. Nothing it's I can't nothing handle. you can't take. Yeah, because I feel like also um, all the years I was, uh, all the years I've been in the game have been preparing me for this moment. Yeah. And if I took this step many years ago, I'd probably been a lot less successful at it. Oh, really? Why do you think so? I just wasn't mentally ready ready for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just now I'm, I'm older. I'm more secure in myself. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to please anybody except mm -hmm. uh, six billion people in the world, and that's so easy. <laughs> <you know? laughs> That's a yeah, lot of people. So easy, Do you, does it does it feel like you're restarting in the industry? Definitely. There's it so feels many that things. Way? Yeah, it feels like I'm starting again, and it's even how crazy. you've been doing this for over two decades now. I consider myself to be an upcoming artist right now. Like, you're kidding me? Yeah, Bien. I have to go to interviews. I have to introduce myself. Hi, my name is Bienna Fresh. But I do it with glee. It's not like, I don't feel like... Oh, I see, yeah, I see. I have to re allow me to reintroduce myself. <laughs> and, and a lot of the places I, I did interviews with Saudi so many years ago, I'm going now as a solo act. Mm -hmm. and, I'm, and I'm talking my, my, you know, my slang, my, my talk there. Uh -huh. And I'm selling my philosophy. So it does feel like starting afresh in the, in the, beauty, in the most beautiful way. Do you think you're going to do something like, um, like an academy for musicians yes so currently in nairobi my record label soul generation okay has an artist development program amazing and runs and last year we developed eight female acts because we just figured like there's no hmm. there's not enough female musicians in Kenya. out there mm -hmm. or out there in general like mm -hmm. it's 10 times harder for a woman to make it in the music game absolutely than, than a guy. man and so we're putting resources behind developing the next crop of female talent in mm -hmm. Kenya. hopefully sign one of them but even if we don't sign them like we're giving them the skills uh, we're giving them media training, like fashion, mm -hmm. all, all of that in a course that's like three to three months. Mm -hmm. And hopefully with time, that'll uh, now become an academic course. Oh, because I, I, I mean, I think about it and I feel like it's essential because this is an industry that you know. I uh, too well, yeah. You've experienced. Exactly. You've navigated. So now for your fan base, um, what is it? Is it different from your fan base while you were in the band or... Is it the same almost? It's almost the same. <clears throat> but also, crazy thing happened. Uh, I was on tour in Europe, and I thought the people who were coming to see me were Saudi Soul fans. Well, but then I... Food? Yes, we did. Thank you. Ah, uh, you're taking my banga away from me. He is. I want him to bring the final meal. Let him your progress. <laughs> With my right hand on the Bible I question my own damn survival How did I get here every night? Yes, 
Yes, so this is it. It's uh... a... Ah, 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 ah. Listen, guys. Okay, I advise don't touch that one. That's pure pepper. pure pepper. It looks... I I'm can even, coming for you. I can even see it. But I don't even... I haven't tried this before. It's a bit of a confusing mix, but people you know will eat it. What is it called? I, it's called. Is this like a? Is this like a dessert or what is it? Like? It's supposed to be a dessert. It is supposed really? to be a dessert. So you're what? supposed to try them out together. I don't even know. I don't think this can work in life. Don't worry, it can work. Anything with egg and beans. No, no, no. I, I just had to think of something that would have eggs in it because you like eggs. Love. But I don't know how this is gonna work. Oh wow. You don't like it. Love it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I've not even touched mine because I cannot mentally fathom how I'm eating beans. <laughs> Let me be honest. Be honest, please. Be honest. If you don't like it, tell me you don't like it. How do you make this? So I have absolutely no idea. It was a special from the hotel. They just oh, says, okay. oh, listen, we have this little because I asked them, what can I have with boiled egg? Mm. And they said it's something called Ewa Scotch. So this right here is like your regular meat. Mm. This is the bean. So I believe it goes the same way you make your scotch egg. Yeah. You wrap the ewa going, the ewa, that's the mm. beans, around the egg, and then you dip it in your meat, and then you kind of like just fry everything together. I love it. <laughs> he loves it. Well, that's Arise 360 today.